welcome 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 back to my channel naturally divine goddess i am shauna and um this is for cancer sun moon and rising this is your full moon reading which is on august 22nd 2021 and let's go ahead and get started as I shuffle the cards, um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. So you can stay updated on all of the new and upcoming videos that I will be posting. Okay, well, let's see already. What energy is coming to you is the Empress. Okay, already. So, um, Cancer, what energy is coming? What, what, I'm sorry, what energy are you bringing in? Is the Five of Swords. What obstacle could you be facing with this energy? The hangman, okay? What energy will help you overcome this obstacle? Okay? Death and your outcome energy. Once again, this is for the sun, moon, and rising. Also, you have the King of Wands that popped out for your outcome energy. Um, please take what resonates. And if it doesn't, please leave it for someone else. This uh, tarot deck that I'm actually working with is the Tarot of the Divine. I'm also going to pull a card from the Moonology to see what the Moon energy has, Moon message has for you. Cancer. similar to the um, Gemini's message it's time to take action the new moon in Aries okay and also I'm going to pull a card from the sacred self-care Oracle deck as well as you know I'm about that self-care <laughs> me a sec to get with the energy okay let's go ahead and dive in um well first off cancer uh sun moon and rising you have the empress now the empress is about abundance so this is what i'm getting abundance um you know nature um gosh oh and the and it's so amazing and so uh, so beautiful that is coming in with the um, with that it's, it's all about 
self-care and beauty with you also nurturing and tapping into your feminine side um, and dealing with those emotions as far as and it's a beautiful thing to um, be to have this um, energy come come through and with this full moon energy is bringing in for you cancer also um, the energy that you are bringing in <laughs> on the other hand is is conflict okay it's it's the five of swords you know no one really likes the five of swords in this aspect it is you are feeling lost and right now the full moon is th this energy this blue moon energy is letting you know that it's coming to you with beauty and nurturement and growth and compassion and love and letting you know that it's okay to love back if that makes sense <laughs> to someone or uh, to to anyone um, so you've had your energy of that you are coming in with is really conflict like you are literally fighting with self of how to let go of either someone that was in control of you or you putting things before you okay so the obstacle that can be potential it it could be if you allow it to be is the hangman energy now with the hangman energy you know it, it comes with letting go and sacrificing and that's the part that you don't want to let go is to hold on to something that is not in your highest and greatest good it's not even in your alignment for your soul purpose or your life purpose now how to come overcome this obstacle that could be um, is de the death card so the this the death card in this is is great because it welcomes in um, transformation it welcomes in new new beginning you know you had to end something to move forward to be new see there's a the skeleton in the behind the curtain but the hand is and the arm the forearm is like whoa brand new got meat on it and everything <laughs> so in that sense that's you you are stepping into and embracing this new energy of self-love okay now the outcome of this is the is the king of wands now the king of wands shucks it is all about energy and passion and lust and and action and but in this sense you need that you need that for you okay you need that to um burst through like she's young and if you were male tap into or however you identify yourself it is all love tap into that energy now for some it can be a little crazy but this is a part of you that no one has never seen because you have never let go before you know um with the moonology card it's time to take action and this is a new moon in Aries. So that's, it's all about, the new moon is all about new intentions, new beginnings, you know. And Aries, of course, hello. I mean, it, it is nothing but action. <laughs> now, how to put yourself in self-care is music. OMG music play music dance to music listen to music because that's going to bring your vibrations all the way up 
all the way where you are literally in a different realm. You are floating. You are connecting to, to the divine, to, to your highest source, to your support system. So here, Cancer, this new moon energy is, I'm sorry, I am keep saying the new moon because it is the new moon energy because that's what it feels like. Because this full moon is about completion and beginnings. So with that being said, hello, embrace this new energy that's coming through for you. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. In the meantime, you can check out all my other videos or you can go to my website at www.goddesspower.net and there you can purchase or even book a session with me so we can even dive deeper if you want to um, with your mission and you know I offer personal training I also have um, a lot of manifestation tools to help you um, recognize your dreams and help your dreams come into reality and or if you just want to just talk you can hit me on um, Instagram or Facebook at at divine goddess power 888 thank you thank you thank you so much for watching peace and blessings